It moves out now, doesn't it? Well, I definitely... I definitely have some tuning to do, but... Not too bad for a first test, huh? I've got the Flybear Dark Star SR72 out here for a test flight after brushless conversion on this plane. So let's take it out here and see if we can launch it. I think with the power system on this, I'm going to be able to launch it at about 40, 45, 40 to 45% throttle. All right, it's cold out here today. All right, let's see if we can get it in the air. Launching. Kind of an iffy launch there. Kind of wanted to nose down on me. Alright, so we got it in fully stabilized mode right now with this Radio Link Bime DB Gyro. I'm having to really back off the throttle. It's a little bit faster than, <laughs> than it was uh, stock, and I'm only at 50% throttle. So, Alright, so I want to bring it back through here. Wow, I am not getting much turn to the right. I want to bring it back through here and put it into intermediate mode just to see. Uh, climb up a little bit. All right, we are now in intermediate mode. So far, so good. I don't know about that CG yet. I've got it balanced right there where the main wing, the leading edge of the main wing is. I have no idea where that needs to be. Fast roll rate. Pretty maneuverable. Ton of power. All right, let's test out the power a little bit. Ooh, that's unlimited vertical for sure. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, they don't get too crazy with it. It moves out now, doesn't it? Well, I definitely... I definitely have some tuning to do, but... Not too bad for a first test, huh? See the roll to the right. Yeah, that looks good. I think uh, I I think I need to change my linkage a little bit to make the controls a little bit smoother. But um, so far, I'm pretty happy with what I see, and I think I was right looking at how it's handling. And how it's performing, I think, because I've just got it in wind mitigation mode right now. I think that that is, I think that that is a really good airframe, guys. And man, has it got power now. And is it aerobatic now. That's awesome. It seems to hold its line pretty well, too. So maybe maybe that is where the CG needs to be. I got quite a bit of nose weight on it. I think I'm probably about 170 grams now. <laughs> I'll have to weigh it when I get back. 
I had to I had to move my battery back a little bit from where I had it because I repositioned my ESC and and that affected uh, the length of the cable inside the canopy and so to get my CG where I had it I had to add more nose ballast weight but it does seem to me the way it's handling it does seem to me that where I have the CG it feels pretty good all right so my timer's about up I had it set for five minutes all right Bring it back in here. Timer one elapsed. Whoa! <laughs> I had to I had to jump out of the way for that. Alright, so um I would say that was a pretty successful test flight. Um and I think it proved me right. I think that that is a, a really, really good airframe. So I've got some tuning to do to it, but I am pretty happy with what I've seen so far. It handled really well. It performed those big, huge loops. I mean, I did a double vertical um, climb with it. Um, rolls look really nice. Um, I, I, think it, I think it turned out really well. All right, so stay tuned uh, for some more flights on this. It'll be flying much better and handling much better. The more uh, flights I get on it, the more tuning I complete I can complete on it. But um, awesome, it was, it was well worth the time to uh, to complete this brushless conversion. That's a wrap on this episode. Stay tuned for more flights of this SR72. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time in the Tinker's Lab.